Hello, 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 people. Welcome back to the channel. It is me, Taylor Made Gaming, back at you once again with another video. And in today's video, we have got our first game in charge of South End United. We're going back to my hometown, Kings Lynn. Hopefully, we can pick up a big three points today to start us off on the best possible note. But as well as that, we've also got news of our final finances our transfers how pre-season has gone and then we're gonna get into the game so i hope you're looking forward to this series and just before we do get started i've got something new i want to try with you guys it's gonna be my question of the day and so today's first one is this we are managing in south end we're managing in non-league football i really like non-league football so I want to know what are all your guys experiences of non-league football what was the very first non-league game you can remember going to let me know down below in the comments what was your first ever game in non-league football I would love to hear from all you guys and so so we get into looking at the finances I think we should So, here we are on the finances screen, and you can see that with the league season just about to start, we've now got an overall balance of £327,000. So, I think we've made a budget of, or made a profit, sorry, of about £60,000, 70000 something along those lines. So, we've done okay in pre season. Obviously, most of that was down to friendlies with Premier League and bigger teams. I'll talk you through the pre season in a second but the most important bit is the projection and i think at the end of the last episode we was projected to be over three million in debt at the end of the 23 24 season we've now got that down to 2.28 million so hopefully hopefully that means we're stepping in the right direction and we will be able to turn it around before too much longer which would be very, very nice. So that's the finances. That's all I wanted to talk to you about. Oh, we've also got sponsors. We've got a sponsorship as well. We've got a main kit deal now for 105k for the one year. It's money, it's extra money into the club, but it's still not really enough. But now, yep, on to the transfers. We've been busy. Here we are on the transfer screen. You can see that it looks like we've been very busy. But in actual fact, most of the ins have been trials. I've brought a lot of trialist players in. I like to do that. It's easier and it's cheaper than sending scouts out to places. So we'll go through the ins in a minute that I've done as permanent or loan deals. But as for outs... You will remember on my intro video, I said that I wanted to make a profit on every transfer window. And thus far, that's exactly what I'm doing. Because we have made £5,000 from the sale of Jason Dimitriou over to Woking. He was on quite big money for us. £1.1,000 a week he's getting at Woking. Think he might have been on a little bit more with us. But we managed to get rid of him. He does look a very good player. He has played 51 times for Cyprus. So he's got to be a little bit decent. But we had to get rid of him because we're trying to look after the finances. Other than that, I've let Rob Howard, Erin Kinali and Matt Russ all go out on loan. And then as for the ins, let's do this by fee so I can show you the one that we have brought in for money. And that's Koridi Adidoyin. This is a guy who my scouts really, really liked. They said I should try and bring him in. And so I have done. He's got decent crossing, decent dribbling, passing and technique. And he's got okay acceleration. But it does say here he can play up front. But not with them attributes. Eight for finishing? No. You're going to be playing on the wings whenever you do play, fella. 
And then as well as that, the other deals that I have brought in is Sam Pearson. He's from Bristol City, who I've managed to get as a senior affiliate. That was one of the first things I did when I got into the club. And so you can see here, again, he can play on either wing. He's got decent crossing, decent dribbling, decent acceleration. Stamina's a little bit of a concern, but okay. And determination is pretty damn good. I'm very, very happy with that. And then the last one is Freddie Price. We've brought him in on loan as well from Morecambe. Again, he can play anywhere in the three behind the striker. My scouts really liked him, so they told me I should bring him in. But my coaches don't. My coaches only give him two and a half star current ability. And I can see why. I don't think we're going to be seeing a whole lot of him, if I'm honest. But you never, ever know. And as for all these trials, one guy or two guys we have been trying to bring in. Zelly is male. We've been trying to bring him in. We've had him on trial a couple times. We have keep offering him contracts, but he wants far too much money. I'm hoping that the sooner we get into games being played, the more he'll start trying to lower his demands. So I really, really hope that that does happen. And as well as that, we want Ross McCormack as well. I know he's 35. He can't run at all, but those technicals and those mentals. I think he could do a job for us. Maybe not from the start, but maybe as like a last 10, 15 minutes, man, just to nick us a goal. He's one I have been looking at, but now... Having a second look, those physicals, yeah, maybe not, maybe, maybe not. And so, let's get into our pre-season, yeah? Well, you can see that pre-season has had a whole lot of red, but that is only as far as results. Most of these games have just been about getting money into the team, we started off with a 2 all draw against Nani and Borough. Then we lost three on the spin, but that's understandable when you see it's Everton, West Brom and Cholton. Then we beat Staines 3-1. That was a very nice performance. Crystal Palace lost 2-0. And then this was the most disappointing result. South Shields, they're not even in a playable league. Captain Goodspeed, if you're watching, you'll be happy with this result. 3-1 loss for us to South Shields. Then Leeds came and spanked us. Then we beat Met Police on penalties. And then my other hometown team, Romford, we beat them 2-0. And then that leads us into today. And Kings Lynn. Oh, this is going to be a big, big game. I'll be back with you in a second when I've selected the team. Here is the team for today's game. We've got Arnold in goal. We've got Ralph and Atkinson as wing-backs on automatic roll today. And then we've got White and Hobson as our two central defenders. Guard, Ferguson and Agogo make up our midfield. And then on the wings, we've got Nathaniel George and Jack Bridge just behind our deep lying forward, Reese Murphy. We're going with sort of passing, early crosses, whipped crosses, trying for set pieces, playing the ball to our fullbacks and trying to force the opposition outside. Please let us get a decent result today. That would be very nice. Come on, come on. I've just done the team talk. I've basically just told the players, make me proud and go and earn the three points today. And as you can see, not much of a reaction. But oh well, let's hope we can get the win. Come on, prediction time. 2-0 us, 2-0 us. Come on, South End. First highlight of the game is Kings Lynn in blue, us in the white. Hobson with the ball. He's coming forward with it. Goes back to his mate, White. And White goes long. Murphy's in space. Murphy's in behind the defence. He's in. He shoots. And oh, it's been saved by Paul Jones. And into the stand where I used to stand when I used to watch Kings Lynn. 
I was in that stand behind the goal. And now Guard with the corner heads it away. 27 minutes gone now. Guard with a corner for us. Rowley heads it away. Goes to Atkinson. Guards in space. Can he cross this? He does it. Goes deep. Nathaniel George scores our first goal in charge of Southend United. And that was easy. I saw George running in behind the defence. And I knew he was going to get on to it. Let's have a look at this again. Guard with the corner went to Atkinson. And then this was a beautiful cross from guard. And well, even I could have scored that, I think. Very beautiful start. Oh, but what might not be so beautiful is a minute later, Barrett has got a corner ball and Bird thankfully gets put off by a go-go. And that drifts harmlessly out. 37 minutes gone now. Jones with the ball. He goes long. Ferguson nods it down for guard to Ralph. Can Ralph absolutely wreck Kingslin? No, not right now, he can't. But George, the goal scorer, he's coming forward with it. Goes back to Ralph with a cross. Murphy with the header, and oh, that was almost two. That was almost two. Five minutes to half time. We've got the ball. It's a go go to Ferguson, to guard. Nathaniel George, he's got Ralph outside of him if he wants him. He doesn't. He's tried to play it to Murphy, but Murphy's not got the pace. But, oh, why? Why did he try and nick the ball there? He could have had the ball. Oh, well. Kingsland again with the football. Back to their goalkeeper, Jones. He goes long. And they flick it on. And Lin Linton's outpaced our defence there. He's outpaced them. But thankfully, our man Arnold gets the ball away. As this highlight is never ending. McGavin, Barrett. Back to McGavin. Do -do 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 -do. McGavin, I bet he's loving it. I bet he gets that a lot. And, well, that is half-time. Seven shots apiece. Kingsley have had one on target. We've had two. XG is pretty much identical. We've had a lot more of the ball, though. 54 to their 46. Another goal would be nice. Another goal would have me feeling very comfortable. I'm going to go. Uh, things are going well. Do I risk that? Yes, I do, but apparently everyone's got their headphones in because they're ignoring me. And so, come on, one more goal. Do I think we're going to get it? I think we do. I said 2-0 at the start of the game. So, yeah, come on, one more goal. Absolutely nothing happening in the second half as of yet. There's 20 minutes left, so we're going to make some changes. Are we going to bring on Dennis? He's got eight crossing. I would like someone with a little bit more crossing. Price doesn't have anything much better, does he? He's got nine crossing. What's Sam Pearson got? He's got 11 and he plays on the left. And Nathaniel George has got a bit of a knock. I was not alerted to this. Okay, so we're going to get Nathaniel George off for Sam Pearson. And I think that's going to be our only change. The limit of five players down here at this level on the bench is going to take some getting used to. Now here we go. 20 minutes left to go. Ferguson. Ralph crosses it in. Murphy is beaten to the header. It goes to Bridge. And now can Bridge find a teammate? Yes, he does. Abu. Ferguson. Guard. Pearson. He's got a man out wide. Ralph. Cross it in early. Oh, he's played it in. Pearson. Nah, that was awful. What was he doing? What was he doing? But now, non-stop highlights. But we win the ball from Kingsland's clearance. It's Hobson back to White. To guard. Wide to Pearson. Pearson with the ball. And Pearson, is he going to cross it in? Yes, he does. And Bridge, it does not get to it. But he does get a second chance. Bridge back to Atkinson. What a cross that is. Murphy with the header and oh! Oh, that should have been two. That should have been two. Seven and a half minutes remaining of normal time. Once again, we get the ball off a of clearance. It's Bridge coming forward down the right-hand side. Atkinson. A go-go. Ferguson. Hobson. There's a man in space here in the middle. Or at least he was. And now Murphy. Wide to Ralph. Now, can his man get forward? Pearson. No, he doesn't. But he does have the ball. And now Pearson with it. Goes back to Wreck-It Ralph. Ferguson. 
Pearson, some very nice football being played here as Pearson's into the box. He's crossed it in. Bridge makes it too. That is how you start a game of football, a season of football. That is how you win a game of football, people. That should be the three points all wrapped up. Pearson with it. And this was a very nice, smart bit of play. He spotted Bridge and, well... Bridge was never going to miss that. Indeed, there is the final whistle. We've got the three points. It's a very happy return to Kings Lynn for me. I'm going to be going to the subway over the road and getting myself a little bit of food because maybe I might be able to get myself my old staff discount. You never know. But yep. Kingslin have had 10 shots, 2 are 13, 2 on target, 2 are 6. DXG are massively improved in that second half. Kingslin had one clear, kit ch clear cut chance, that's easy to say. But yep, but we did get the win. 59% of the ball in the end. That is as good a performance as you're going to get for your first game in charge. Let's go and tell the lads just how happy I am with them. And now they're reacting to me, inspired and motivated. And well, let's go and have a look, see when we're going to come back, and then I shall let you beautiful people go for today. Oh, it's not that far off, but I do think we're going to come back for Wrexham at home. It's got to be done. Every FM YouTuber who's playing at this level is going to be doing a Wrexham game at some point on video. So I'm going to be no different. And I'm going to have a little bit of a surprise for you guys. I've got a bit of inside knowledge on Wrexham. So yeah, come back for that video next time out. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really, really hope you've enjoyed it. It's not going to be that long until the next one. I might even record it tonight. Let's see how I feel. But anyway, thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, pop a mahoosive thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager 22 content. And follow me on Twitter at TaylorMGaming. Thank you once again so much for watching. I shall see you next time. Bye.